There are moments in history so monumental, they become frozen in time. Yet, as with many of history's great moments, the flag raising on Mount Suribachi, victory on Iwo Jima, victory in the Second World War, proved possible only through the efforts and sacrifices of thousands. February 19, 1945, 0900 hours. The first of 70,000 Marines hit the black sand shores of the Pacific island of Iwo Jima. They are met with silence, the 22,000 Japanese defenders offering no resistance. Hope rose among the Marines that the massive pre-invasion bombing campaign had knocked out the island's defenses. Silence was soon shattered by a hailstorm of bullets as the Japanese defenders executed their trap, waiting until the beaches were full of men and equipment before unleashing a devastating barrage. Across the landing beaches, devoid of cover, men were cut down by fire from entrenched Japanese positions throughout the island and atop Mount Suribachi. Iwo Jima was becoming a bloodbath. Landing on the island with the 3rd Division was a young Marine from West Virginia, Herschel Williams, known to friends as Woody. A veteran of Guam, Woody Williams had been trained in demolition and in the use of flamethrowers, valuable skills against a heavily dug-in enemy. By February 23rd, fighting for every inch, the Marines were making progress. With Suribachi surrounded, a patrol was sent to scale the summit, ordered to secure the mountain and, if the opportunity presented, raise the stars and stripes. Not far from the mountain base, several American tanks advanced slowly through the black volcanic sands. Suddenly, they hit a network of reinforced concrete pillboxes and buried mines. They were trapped in the kill zone. Behind the tanks was the young Marine Corporal Woody Williams. Knowing his comrades were now an easy target, he ran toward the enemy positions, armed only with his 70-pound flamethrower. With limited cover from four Marine riflemen, Williams fought his way through, blasting pillbox after pillbox with his flamethrower. He climbed atop one pillbox, firing into the bunker below. Then again, when charged by a group of enemy soldiers attacking with bayonets, Marines watched in awe as the young West Virginian who was once turned away from the military for being too short, took complete control of the battlefield. He was one man in one moment, changing the course of action during one of the toughest battles of the war. Four hours later, the enemy guns fell silent, thanks to the extraordinary heroism of Corporal Woody Williams. During his epic moment, he had missed another epic moment, as Mount Suribachi was secured and the flag raised to the cheers of Marines across Iwo Jima. Several months later, the heroism of Woody Williams was recognized when President Harry S. Truman welcomed him to the White House, where he was presented with the Medal of Honor. Twenty-seven men received the Medal of Honor for valor on Iwo Jima, the only battle where American casualties exceeded those of the Japanese. Today, only William survives. The last living symbol of American valor displayed long ago on a small Pacific island covered in black sand and ash. For 70 years, Woody Williams has worn America's highest military award in honor of those Marines who on February 23, 1945, gave their lives to protect his. His moment of valor represents the stories of thousands of individual Americans who in their own moments sacrificed everything for a cause larger than themselves.